Hey everyone, Greg Street here. I'm the new head of Riot's creative development team. We focus on building out the world of Runeterra, not just in League of Legends, but by telling stories outside the game through writing, comics, videos, music, and more. 2018 was all about setting the baseline for the world of Runeterra. We couldn't even really explain where the different locations existed until we could share with you a map of the world. But starting this year, we want to talk a lot more about what these locations are like, and more importantly, how the champions connect to them and to each other. So here's what's happening in Season 2019. With the release of Silas, we're moving the story of Demacia forward. Demacia has taken a strong anti-magic stance, even to the point of Lux having to conceal her own inherent abilities. But now that Demacia has to contend with Silas, a powerful mage branded a criminal, we really want to show you what's going to happen next. Can Demasi even continue to reject magic in a world where all other rivals seek to leverage it? As a change of pace from a potentially dark story in Demacia, we'll also be looking into Bandal City this year. We'll consider questions such as, does one simply walk into Bandal City? And, is Bandal City even a real place? Or even, why does Riot think the League world needs Yordles in the first place? Now, I mentioned Demacia's story moving forward, and this is something we want to fully embrace. We've heard from a lot of you that the League universe feels frozen in time, except maybe when we release a new champion, and we totally agree. This year, you're going to see the timeline start to advance. We'll be telling these stories inside of League itself, but also through our new comic series and other forms of fiction. Now, I do want to emphasize comic series, because we'll be telling stories that continue for several issues rather than single standalone comics. We've heard from our comic readers out there that you feel like single issues don't really have the page length necessary to tell an in-depth story. And so going forward, our plan for the future is always multiple story arcs. We want to release at least one Marvel comic every month, and you've hopefully already seen this with the first two issues of Ash War Mother. Later this year, we'll be exploring the relationships between Lux and Garen through a five-issue Lux series, followed in the tail end of the year with a series that follows Zed as he hunts down one of Ionia's deadliest assassins. We're also excited to announce that one of the main goals of this year is to release both physical and digital books. We'll be starting with a novella focused on Demacia, and we'll continue to create new content throughout 2019 that we're really excited to share with you. We'd love to use this type of writing to dive deep into the complex events and relationships between Runeterra and its champions. Finally, let's talk about alternative universes. In the past, Wright has focused most of our storytelling efforts on the core universe of League of Legends. However, as our alternative universes, things like Project, Star Guardian, and most recently KDA, have gotten bigger and deeper, we've heard a lot of demand from you all to flesh out and tell new stories in these worlds as well. Now, the Core League universe will always be our primary focus, but it won't be our only focus, so look forward to stories set in the alt universes soon. So in Season 2019, you can look forward to more stories that shape Runeterra and progress its stories in a bunch of different forms of media. We're excited to share the stories we have in the works while also opening the doors of Runeterra to whole new audiences. And honestly, this is just the beginning. We really can't wait for you to see what we've been working on. Thanks.